Like I'm giving y'all all the good tea. Want it to become your full-time job, you cannot treat it like a part-time job. Fucking black Barbie, pretty face, perfect body, pink feet, in a Barbie, always fuck them like I'm sorry. Who the fuck is gonna pretend? Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel, gangers. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, join the family. And if you're new here, my name is Neo Shanisha Lay. You're going to love it, so just stick around. But y'all, um, anyways, the moral of this video and what we're going to be talking about today is growing your YouTube channel. So like, you know, you steadily saying, oh, I'm going to make me a YouTube channel, I'm make me a YouTube channel, never make the YouTube channel because I used to do that. So anyways, we're going to start and grow our YouTube channel in today's video. So y'all stay tuned. Hey, y'all, so I have a whole list here of tips on how to grow and start your youtube channel so let's get straight into the video um don't mind it i might edit that out here i might edit that out okay anyways let's first off start off with creating a channel okay so first off before you even create the channel really and truly you need to have figured out your channel name and what your niche is gonna be so when you get your channel name, because you're gonna need your channel name to make the YouTube channel. So figure out your channel name and then the niche. Like what is your page going to be about? Like what are you gonna do on the page? So like I would say pick three topics to like basically have your channel based on. Say like beauty, lifestyle, and blogs. Or like beauty, lifestyle, and pranks. Or whatever it is that you want your YouTube channel to be about. Um so after you figure out, figure out your name and your niche, then after that, make the YouTube channel and promote it on all your socials so that like people can go ahead and start subscribing before you post a YouTube video. But have some YouTube videos in mind, like write down a list of YouTube video ideas that you're gonna do because like once you get started, you don't wanna start posting one and then go miss it for two, three months because you don't know what to post. And then now you back again with one and like, if you just have them listed out, it's much easier, like already having the stuff figured out. So after you get that figured out, you can create the channel, put your name on it, promote it onto all your socials. Um, you will make the YouTube account, clearly. And you also wanna make a banner for your channel. Like if you go on a person's channel, you will see the little banner in the background. It don't have to be nothing fancy, but I would put something right there. And also have a good profile picture. I would suggest you to put like, a facial picture so that they know who it is and like your name i mean your face is basically your brand so you want to be remembered by your face you wouldn't want to be remembered by something else you want people to be like oh that's that girl you know what i'm saying okay yeah um i'm excuse the nails that are missing okay i'm gonna get my nails done soon so yeah y'all stay tuned for that because it's gonna be a video post your first video so whatever video you do post that video you're gonna have to edit it so i would suggest like using i guess if you're first starting off if you have an iphone iMovie is pretty good because i started off using iMovie um but if not another really good one that i just started using is CapCut. and before that one i was using vm and i'm gonna leave the things right here so y'all can see what I, what the app looks like but anyways yeah cap cut vn or iMovie it's some good ones and out of all those i would really say cap cut is the best one so yeah after you edit your video get it posted promoted and you pretty much then start at the channel but you know you got to keep them videos coming okay so that's what we're gonna get into growing the channel and you know actually get in subscribers watch time all that stuff that you need to be monetized so for one give yourself a schedule for posting if you post if you have a schedule for posting then it's like the people that's watching your videos gonna know okay today she posting at this time and then you will also be like you know on top of it, it won't be like oh i don't know what day i'm gonna post this week you really won't get to it if you have a schedule to do it you probably would do it more than if you didn't yeah so like pick three days two three days out the week or however many days you want to post out the week say like tuesday friday saturday type thing whichever is your most active days and that's another thing when you're posting you want your most active days 
your most active days and most active times is when you want to post. So you can check that in your analytics on YouTube Studio, and it'll tell you like what days have the most watch, the most, the days you'll get most watches, stuff like that, and then the time. And you will post like say maybe an hour or so before that time, so that it can really you know get get its full potential in. So yeah, so schedule for posting, post, post the active times. And again, you can check that in your YouTube studio. That's a whole different app. Um, use hashtags in the description. So like when you are, you have to put a description in, on your video. So you want to basically like at the end, when you get done typing what you're gonna say, you want to put hashtags down there about what your video is about so that YouTube knows like, okay, what is this about or whatever like that. So, and also in your description box, you want to definitely try to take, I mean, try to use all those words that they give you. I think it's like 5,000 words you could use or something like that. So I would say at least 2,000 or not 2,000. I think it's two, at least 250. So at least try to fill up, try to write as much as you can write in that box, explaining what your video is about. Because the more you telling YouTube what this video is about, the better they can give it to the people that need it like if you're doing hair tutorials you want to explain okay in this video i'm doing a hair tutorial i'm doing a hair tutorial on this i'm doing this i'm doing that so then youtube is like okay this is what she doing people looking at hair they gonna put your video out there for hair okay so next um the more explaining the better basically is what i'm saying um uh, and titles y'all titles are so important Oh my God, hair is on my eye. Okay, so anyways, titles are so important. So important. Your title, they say don't stuff them, but I mean, you can only put a hundred words in a title anyway. So really and truly, that's not stuffing. But I would say put as much as words as you can. And that's the thing, you can't just be putting any type of words. You want to put something in your title that is searchable. People are searching for this topic or whatever like you know like you wouldn't want to put like something that nobody is looking up like basically you want titles that somebody would type in like how to tie my shoe like something simple like that so your title is very important and you also want to try to put keywords in there and TubeBuddy is a very good app if you want to see what like what um words are keywords and another way to see what keywords are you can go on youtube and search up videos like the video that you're gonna post and like it'll start popping up the rest of the it'll start describing not describing y'all know what i mean when you type in a title how to something and they start reading off the words to you like what you could be typing in yeah so then will be keywords um another thing that's very important is your thumbnail the thumbnail is very important because like that's the first thing you see that thumbnail gotta be like it gotta be given that thumbnail gonna have to be given because what else is gonna get them you know what i'm saying like they don't know what's in your video that picture that you put on the outside that is the cover of the book and if the book cover looking raggedy i'm not gonna open it like so you know what i'm saying like you want your thumbnail to be good good quality pictures you want it to look nice bigger words multiple pictures you know something just pretty like appealing to the eye that's the thing you want like make it to where oh if i seen this i would click on it um let's see um also include your face in the thumbnails because again your face is basically your brand name and you would want your face to be known for that video if it was to do well or like be remembered for your face basically Video quality is also very important. Um, iPhones do a pretty good job. So, I mean, you don't have to have a camera. Your iPhone will do good enough because I know mine's be doing good enough. Y'all record on my iPhone and it works perfectly fine. I still want a camera, but we going to get there. Um, so, if you have like an Android, I don't know. I'm not going to talk down on the Androids or whatever. But like sometimes their quality isn't really meeting the YouTube standards. Or I mean... I don't know just have good quality if you feel like the quality good you want to have good lighting so you might need to invest in you a ring light or something and like or sunlight 
even, you know, because sunlight actually do better than any kind of light. But light and good quality is very gonna very it's really gonna be the best thing for you because if I get on your video and it's dark, like let me see how this gonna look. Like who gonna wanna sit here and watch this video if I'm looking like like just have some light and you want light in your video, the quality uh, the quality to be good and just something that somebody would want to watch you wouldn't want to watch a video this like dark as ever and doesn't look good to you so basically make videos that you will watch make stuff that you would click on like if you wouldn't click on it then why you make it? if that makes sense to y'all i'm trying my best to explain the best i can y'all um also hop on trends not just like no copycat female or whatever but like you know hop on the trends that's in season like seasons and trends matter a lot so right now at the season that we're in it's winter winter this winter that um winter hair routine winter this summer summer outfits like you want to be on the season that it is whatever's trending at that moment like the claw clip hairstyle that i just recently did in a video that is something that's trending right now because that hairstyle it's just trending right now so yeah so hop on those type of things and you all just flow right in you know what i'm saying like i'm giving y'all all the good tea <sighs> okay again searchable topics you want your topic whenever a person search it in to be searchable like you're not gonna pop up if they can't search in your title and then another thing, which is crazy, because, like, another thing would be non-searchable type topics, but I wouldn't say non-searchable, really. But topics, you could also do topics that, like, nobody, nobody has done a video on. So, say, like, a new restaurant opens or something like that, and you go try the restaurant. Like, go to the restaurant, blog the restaurant, give us a, give us a review on the restaurant and when a person go to see their restaurant or want to go to their restaurant they can click on your video because like you're the only person that then went to this place we need to know so you know what i'm saying like it, it's two different ways but you gotta go smart about it okay and another thing is a series like if you do something like say you're moving or something oh keep on doing back-to-back -back videos of that like not the same thing but going over kind of the same topic or they in a row of y'all know what a series is something that you would keep watching basically in different videos though okay so that would help you a lot because if a person keep on coming back to watch that series that's gonna be good for your channel um i already went over the best editing apps oh consistency this one everybody says this i swear to god whenever i was trying my best to be consistent i was hating to hear oh be consistent be consistent because it ain't as easy as it sounds i know that, that myself so the consistency is really hard but you just gotta you know that's why you should make a schedule and post on that schedule and you have to have the drive to be doing it honestly like you have to want it and you have to be on yourself about doing it because it's not like a nine to five job. It's not somebody that's you working for yourself. It's not somebody that's like, oh, Nielsen, you got to clock in at five. Nielsen, you got to clock in at this time. No, you going to clock in or you not going to clock in. Like nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody is going to be on your back. Oh, go vlog and post it and edit it. Nobody's going to do that. So it's up to you and you got to want it for yourself to be on top of it. Okay. And then another thing is you cannot, if you want it to become your full-time job, you cannot treat it like a part-time job or like a hobby, basically, because it's not going to be a full-time job if you're not treating it like a full-time job. You know what I'm saying? Like the more effort that you put into something, the more outcome is going to come. So being consistent, posting two, three times a week, and that's actually helping the algorithm. I cannot talk in this video today. That is actually helping the algorithm. Okay, so now we're gonna go over YouTube's algorithm. Okay, so yes, being consistent is definitely going to be key to getting into the YouTube's algorithm because they want consistency. If you steadily on here like, oh yeah, I'm here, I'm here ready to work, like 
they're gonna put your content out there. If you post in once a month, disappear and post this week, then disappear, post that next two weeks. Like that's not gonna be good for your channel. So I had to learn that y'all been having my channel for a little minute and the whole time I had my channel, I never really was like consistent with it basically. It was more like a off on, off on, off on thing. So you don't want it to be like this. So, so before you even get your channel started, you really wanna already have the ideas like kind of roll down. So you have a few video ideas to go for. But um, basically, yeah, thumbnails, titles, keywords, and what else did I say? Posting at active times. Using hashtags. Um, all this stuff, like, I'm not even gonna say it's easy, because it's not easy, but just keep trying like keep on posting consistently focus on your active times when are your youtubers on say hi to the vlog mate so the last thing that i want to mention is about the watch time because you know you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time before you get monetized so basically you would want to Focus, I guess, on your, you, you want to focus on both of them. Because my thing was, I was focused on the subscribers before I was focused on the watch time. And I was never worried about the watch time. But the watch time is the hardest to get. So you probably want to focus on both of them. So when you're making your videos, I would definitely suggest, like, try to keep them entertaining. Make videos that are longer than, hmm, like, longer than 10 minutes, I would say push for like between 10, 10 and up. So, cause the longer your video is, the more watch time that you're getting if that person is watching the video. So like them little short videos that's like five, six, seven, eight minutes, that's not really helping you that much. So I would suggest make longer videos and keep your audience engaged. Like you don't want no parts where you just like sitting there like. Because then, they're gonna click off of it. And then that's messing your watch time up because you just lost somebody mid video. Like, so we don't want that. So make sure you have them engaged and doing something the whole time. Um, and I think that's pretty much it about watch time. I think that's pretty much it about watch time. But that 4,000 watch time is difficult to get, I'm not gonna lie but it is possible so you just need to be posting 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 and you do have to get that watch time within 12 months because as as you're gaining the watch time you're losing the watch time because it's within a 12 month period so whatever gets out of the reach of 12 months that is no longer going to be counted towards your watch time so you're gonna have to be putting out more getting more watch time than you're losing basically so yeah um that's another thing and besides that pretty much that is the tips y'all my personal advice for any youtuber starting a youtube channel or is trying to grow their youtube channel is definitely stay consistent like if i would have been consistent this whole entire time that i had my youtube channel i would be way further than what i am now so i'm just now becoming consistent with my youtube channel and i hadn't been i think i've had my youtube channel for probably like four maybe four years you know how long that is maybe even longer than four years but consistently you definitely want to be posting staying on the app like posting so the app knows that you're here because they're not going to promote some videos that, you, that if you post in a week and then don't post no more and then post again it's like YouTube, YouTube is gonna be like, well, we're not gonna promote your videos because you're not even like, for sure gonna be here. Basically, they're not gonna give you the job. Just like how your job wouldn't give you the job if you wasn't gonna come to work. So basically, yeah, uh, you have to treat it like your full-time job, not no part-time job, not no hobby, not a whenever I feel like, it, oh, I'm gonna vlog today, once out the month. Like that's not gonna work. You're, it's really gonna take so long to finally get where you're trying to get so just post consistently edit your videos 
edit your videos to the best of your ability. If not, get you an editor because, well, I mean, that's you're going to be coming off money doing that. But so just pretty much learn how to edit on your own because if you learn how to edit, then you really won't need that help. But if you use CapCut, y'all, again, um, it's actually like pretty, pretty good and pretty easy to just, you know, figure out. You don't have to be a professional to edit a video. So just edit it good, put in some clips to be, put some entertaining clips in. You know what I'm saying? Like different stuff in the video, things like that. Um, another thing I wanted to tell y'all, and then a lot of thought to your description box. You want to be explaining your video. You want to be putting in hashtags, anything to do with that topic. You want your title to be fully loaded down with keywords, good searchable topics, so your video can be looked up. And the more people that's watching your video, the more that YouTube is going to recommend it to other people and put it on their homepage. So like basically YouTube will put your video on someone's homepage or a few people's homepage. And it's however many people click on that video is what's gonna help your video. And if your thumbnail is not up to par, if it's not giving what it's supposed to give, nobody gonna click on it then there your video is not doing well like so there's that and so i'm just pretty much going over everything that i went over at the beginning of the video because i felt like i was kind of all over the place with the information but y'all get it right i think y'all get it so post the active times um Use as many words in your description box as you can. Titles are important again. Your niche, figure out what you wanna do on your page and make sure that you're promoting your YouTube on all your socials because some people do that. They don't be wanting people to know they got a YouTube channel, I guess. I don't know, but it's not gonna work like that. You're gonna need to put that out there. Like, it's nothing that you can be scared about. Like, it, it ain't not, like, what can I say? Anyway, uh, video quality, we went over video quality, hopping on trends and the seasons that we're in at that moment. Um, like back whenever that trend was going on with the, um, what was it? The skunk stripe hair, like dying or the peekaboo hair where you dye a back pink or something like that. Stuff like that. When it's in season, baby, you better hop on. Cause I hopped on that and my video did really good. So yeah, there's some tea. Um, I got y'all the best editing apps, which was CapCut, iMovie, and VN. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. Just put your all into it, and that's what you want to get back, basically. And you guys also stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be doing another video on how to grow on Instagram and TikTok because I clearly grown on those as well. And they, everything takes different steps. Like YouTube and Instagram is completely different. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, join the family. And I'll be back soon.